Hello, welcome to ArtureTutorialsOnline.com. My name is Paul Priestley and today we're going to be looking at how to use these coloured pencils. Yes, I'm going to cover the basics, I'm going to cover everything you need to know. At the end of it, you'll be an expert. Wow, let's make a start. If you're going to work with coloured pencils, you need to know a little bit about colour and it's a good idea to invest in something like this, a colour wheel. The basic thing to remember is that if you mix colours which are opposite on the colour wheel, you'll end up with tertiary colour. You can see one here, if I mix um, the red violet with yellow, I'm basically mixing three primary colours together, I end up with a sort of brownish tone. I'm not going to go into detail on that now, but I'm going to be using today Derwent coloured pencils. They're very good quality. Um, there are other makes so that I work just as well. What I would suggest before you start a drawing is that you select your colours. I've got some warm colours here, some cool colours here. I'm going to use this red and blue colours here and I'm going to use these two. This one is a blender and this one is a burnisher and you'll see the difference of those two items later on. I'm just going to start blending, I'm pressing on very hard with my pencil and I'm gradually blending and pressing on lighter until this thing almost disappears. Once I've done that, I'm then going to use a blue. Red and blue will work together. I need to blend one into the other. So what I'm going to do is start a little way away from that. I'm going to blend very, very lightly here. And then gradually, as I start getting up here, I'm going to start pressing on and blending a little bit stronger until it blends in dark. Here. Now that way I get a nice soft subtle range of colour going from one element to another. Now this is where the burnisher comes in. This pencil here is exactly the same as this pencil except there's no colourant in the lead of the pencil. Now look at the difference when I start using the burnisher on here. You see how it blends the colours together. You see, I get a much different effect. I lose a lot of the graininess of the drawing. So if that's what you want to do, this is what a blender will do for you. Now you can use a different range of colours this time. I'm going to use these warmer tones and we'll do a very simple uh, little drawing. And I'm going to try to put them in tone order. So the lightest tone first, the darkest tone last. And I'm going to start with my light tone first. I'm just going to do a very, very simple oval shape lines down here like that okay a little curve at the bottom i'm going to start my blending as i did here start very light at this side so i'm blending away like that and as i'm coming down here i'm beginning to press on harder and harder and i'm now pressing them quite firmly so i'm getting this very soft subtle tone i'll do the same here start very very light gradually press on a bit darker i'm going to make, use my next tone I'm going to this time start over here and I'm going to start very, very light. And as I'm coming over here, I'm pressing on darker and darker and darker. I'll do the same here as well. So I'm pressing on quite lightly here, pressing on darker and darker as I come across here. I move to my next tone now. I'm starting here and I'm pressing on very, very lightly. And now I'm going to start pressing on a stronger. So I'm coming down here very, very strong. You can see. There we go. A little bit of light, very, very light here and gradually getting dark. Eventually I'll go to my darkest tone. I start in here very, very light and gradually pressing on dark, darker, darker until I get right to the edge of this section here. So this time I'm going to really press on quite hard. We're already beginning to suggest that this has got a dark tone blended in. So we're already making a very, very simple shape. I can now use my blender and I can begin to blend these colours. I could start over here and my blender, you see how it's blending the colours together and giving a really nice effect. Now the more time you take with this obviously the, the better the effect will be but you can see here how I'm beginning to create a nice effect. You can do the same up here as well. You see? If you want to add a highlight here you could use Chinese white we we'll just put a little bit of background. We want to make this stand out. Uh, what I'm doing is doing some very simple. I've used very warm colours as you can see here. So for my background I'm using these greeny blue colours here. So they contrast. If you take your, your colour wheel, the greens contrast with the reddish colours. 
So we, we create a nice, interesting effect. I'm going to dart here, and I might come down here with my darker green, and I begin to blend. Maybe come across here as well. I might um, use my next tone here. I can add one colour over the top, blending my greenish tone soft. So as it blends away over here. And then as I come round the other side of my pot, I might decide to use a slightly lighter tone, as you can see here. Again, I've still got my greenish tone contrasting with the reddish tones. It's very, very much lighter, as you can see. So I get contrast with my pot, and my pot begins to stand out. I'll just do a little, little line coming out here, a warmer tone here, and we can barely soften that. If I go back to my blender again, I can blend my colours. It's darkening my tone around here, it makes my drawing stand out. Come around the side here and just blending those tones together. Let's take my burnisher. Now the burnisher's got two uses. One, I can work on top of this now and I can make this appear to be shiny. So by burnishing this and keep burnishing, I can get the surface to look quite shiny. There's also something else you can do with a burnisher. Imagine you were drawing a brick wall, for example. I'm just going to draw some lines here. Now you can't see these lines because the burnisher, it has no colourant in it. And it's got a slightly waxy feel to it. Look what happens if I gradually shade over the top with my pencil. And you'll see what the burnisher has done. Can you see the lines appearing, resisting the pencil? You imagine now I can work on this because I know now I can work around, I can put a little bit of reddish tones in. So I put my little piece of brickwork up and you can see I've got my pattern with it. Imagine I put lines on top of this now. I'm just going to draw some lines with my burnisher. I'm just drawing some vertical lines and I'm going to go over this now with reddish tone and those lines will resist my red tone. And you'll start seeing those lines appearing. And can you see you get these very, very soft, subtle effects? And I think if you were to get hold of a burnisher and a blender and use those two in your drawings, they will improve your drawing. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching ArtTutorialsOnline.com. If you've enjoyed the video, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you really enjoyed the video, then please share it with as many friends as you possibly can. Thank you very much. Cheers.